don't know. It's just so hard to explain. She remembers nothing before waking up in intensive care. And then I found out everything, you know, being in a coma for 10 days and had this thing and the dog licked me and my dogs licked me all the time. Her dog's saliva forever changing Marie Trainer's life. It was very hard to find out when they first told me and that they had to remove my legs and my arms and some of my hands and it was just something, I mean, what do you do? I mean, it's very hard to cope with. Because it happened so fast. It's kind of a, it's a blur. Right after vacation, says husband Matthew Trainer. I remember the dogs licking her, you know, coming home, they were happy to see us. The next night, Marie developed flu-like symptoms. Her temperature was, went up, then it went down to about 93 degrees, and that's when we rushed her to the hospital. So we knew this was sepsis. We knew she had an infection of some sort. Within two days, she slipped into a coma, her body shutting down, says stepdaughter Gina Premier, who's also a nurse practitioner at Altman Hospital. So we were getting... Um, new symptoms and worsening symptoms very rapidly. Altman's infectious disease team led by Dr. Margaret Kobe and the Cleveland Clinic both confirmed the surprising diagnosis, Capnocytophaga canamorsus. It's fairly common in, in the oral floor or the mouth of a dog and it can be transmitted through a bite or sometimes just contact with saliva. Like a scratch on Marie's arm. That organism is what we call very virulent. It has that ability to induce your immune system to you know, do some pretty horrible things. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe the pictures of those. Dozens of blood clots restricting blood flow causing gangrene. If we did not proceed with the amputations, that it was going to lead to her death and quickly. As soon as they were able to start treating it, then you could see it slowly getting better. After eight surgeries, hospitalized more than 80 days. I'm still amazed at what it is because you know we still love our animals. Capnocytophaga is common in most dogs and a percentage of cats, but Dr. Kobe says this kind of reaction is one in a million and unpredictable. In 2018, a Wisconsin man also had to have his limbs amputated after a dog lick, while a different local patient recovered. Their immune system handled it differently. differently. Yeah, okay. it's just how the immune system does. Sometimes when you have a very healthy, active immune system, it almost goes like an overdrive. Dr. Kobe wants people to know that it's a myth dogs' mouths are clean not to terrify people, but so they'll be careful. If you get bit by a dog, you definitely need to go on antibiotics to wash your hands when playing with a dog, especially if you're playing with a toy and you get saliva, especially in an open cut. And make sure it does not get infected. Marie actually can't wait to go home to her dogs, but the hairstylist faces intensive rehabilitation and an uncertain future. It's lots of healing to do. To help, loved ones launched a fundraising campaign and a GoFundMe called Trainer Strong. Her attitude has been so positive and so strong. Only breaking down when thinking about her family. Here every day for me, every day. Feeds me, dresses me. He's here every day. My husband and my kids. Yeah.